Hello, this is Josh from the AJ Mirror and bringing you another episode of Science and Sailing. Today, we'll be talking about another position that you can find on board a tall ship, the engineer. Last time we talked about how the bosun is responsible for maintaining all the parts of the boat that are more historic, like the sails, the rigging, and the wood. The engineer, on the other hand, maintains the more modern equipment. For starters, the engineer must be able to maintain and repair the ship's engine. On the Mirwald, as on most larger vessels, we have a diesel engine, which requires both preventative maintenance and the occasional repair. We also have a diesel generator that requires maintenance as well. Tasks may include things like changing oil, refueling, and performing inspections. It's crucial to keep these machines running in tip-top shape, since we rely on the engine for things like docking, undocking, and at times, when we don't have the wind, we need it to move the boat. The generator provides power to one of our bilge pumps. As you can see over here, this is our electric pump, and it's connected to these green pipes over here, which run our bilge manifold and even our fire hose over there, the red pipe. The generator also helps provide power to our battery charger, which you can see over here. We have a battery bank with the charger. There's a bunch of batteries in this gray box. And we even use the generator to help keep our navigational equipment running and our lights including our running lights, which we need for other boats to see us when we're sailing at night. The, gener or the engineer is also responsible for making sure that everything on board, from the lights, the bilge pumps, are receiving power. In addition to the power systems on board, our engineer also maintains the plumbing system. On the AJ Mirwall, uh, we have a sink in the galley, which is our kitchen, another one in the head, or the bathroom, and on our ship, we also have one toilet, which goes right over here to our black water tank. Our black water tank has many pipes and plumbing that the engineer is also responsible for taking care of. Not a job that I particularly would like to do. The engineer must also make sure that these systems are operating smoothly and that we are properly disposing our waste when we pump out our tanks. We don't wanna just pump it into the water. The engineer must work closely with the captain and the mate so that everyone is on the same page about the condition of the boat. Like the bosun, an engineer may have an engineer's mate or a wiper who assists them and trains to become a full-on engineer. The engineer may also recruit crew members to help with certain tasks, like inspections. An engineer on a tall ship must have lots of technical knowledge, must be very observant, and must be organized and able to keep track of a written log of what's been done on the vessel and on the various systems on the vessel. <clears throat> what other duties do you think an engineer may have? At what point in history do you think that ships started uh, hiring engineers and using them on board? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. This has been Josh with the AJ Mirwald bringing the Bayshore to you.